It was a wet and wild day with the announcement of the Super Under 20s Championship to slide into 2016. Our finest under 20s players around the country, they will be this year competing in the inaugural Super 20s competition to be played during the opening six rounds of the Astron Life Super Rugby competition. The championship will see the best of the best of under 20s players take each other on around the country with most matches curtain raises to Super Rugby games. It's, it's been a really good initiative over the last two years I think to get that uh, competitive nature amongst the franchises which puts a really good platform for the players going forward especially for Australian under 20s and also future future Super Rugby players in Australia but this is this is to another level and uh, they've been training really well across all franchises I'm guessing um, but the ability to play as a curtain raiser in front of a Super Rugby game where these guys potentially or hopefully will get to one day is another step forward for them. The competition providing a clearer pathway for our future stars. Well I think it's um, pretty vital in building that bridge between schoolboys and professional rugby before 20s you really had schoolboys and you went off and played club rugby and hoped to get picked up by um, a professional team. But now you've got that little bridge with three 20s and this opportunity gives you a big opportunity to play for Aussie under 20s, which is that next step up and then you just go on and on from there. With Aussie under 20 selection up for grabs, all players will have plenty of chances to put their hand up for the under 20s World Cup in June. What we need to get across is that we need better level of rugby for these guys to play in and this is the perfect platform once again for them to play at. Um, and, and lead forward for us. I think the biggest thing that we get across here from, from um, Australian under-20s coaches also being involved in their state franchise is, is that it is a long-term approach that we're looking for. So although these games we want to win, um, th the process and the platform that we're trying to get across for these guys is to create future Waratahs, uh, Rebels players, guys at super rugby level and also Wallaby level. The big question though is who will be the inaugural winner? Normally the Waratahs and the Reds are pretty strong just because they're based and they've got a lot of players coming through. But the Rebels have got a lot of um, young super rugby tap players that are contracted that might be getting a go for the Rebels. But um, I bet we're a bit of a dark horse so better watch out for us I think.